Camila Soto and this is HNC News. Today I will be going over the Berlin Wall. Good afternoon, welcome to the HNC News. I'm Heaven and today I'll be talking about the Truman's Loyalty Program. Good evening, my name is Camila Soto and today I will be going over and answering all questions about the Berlin Wall. As we know, after World War II, Germany was divided between the East and the West. On August 13, 1961, the communist government of the German Democratic Republic began to build a barbed wire and concrete wall between East and West Berlin. The official purpose of this Berlin Wall was to keep so-called Western fascists from entering East Germany and undermining the socialist state, but it primarily served the objective of stemming mass defections from East to West. Overnight, families were separated and thousands of East Berliners lost their jobs in the West. Within weeks, the wire fence was fortified with concrete and a second fence was built in June of 1962. People attempting to escape East Berlin were shot on sight, but many people were able to escape by digging tunnels, flying over, and even crashing into the wall with their cars. The Berlin Wall stood until November 9, 1989 when the head of the East German Communist Party announced that the citizens of the GDR could cross the border whenever they pleased. That night, a static crowd swarmed the wall. Some crossed freely into West Berlin, while others brought hammers and picks and began to chip away at the wall itself. News update. As you know, we have been dealing with the Cold War since March 12th. As of today, March 21st, Truman's loyalty program has been issued. Now on to Heaven Walker in the field to tell you more. Thank you, Cammy. As you know, Truman's loyalty program has been issued today. Truman's loyalty program was a surprising development in our country that values individual liberty and political independence. Nonetheless, it was just one of the many dubious acts that took place during the anti-communist panic. After World War II, the fear and concern of communist activity in the United States increased. Many laws that prohibited communists from taking teaching positions began to arise in several states. The biggest concern was the idea of having communists in the federal offices. Because of these fears and concern, President Harry S. Truman responded with an executive order that has become effective today, March 21st. This order sets up a program whose purpose is to check the loyalty of all federal employees. The framework of this program is to establish a wide-ranging and powerful government purchase to handle our loyalty checks. In every federal office, loyalty boards have been set up. These boards are responsible to review every employee, and if there are any reasonable circumstances to doubt an employee's loyalty, they will be removed from office. The program so far has ended up only discovering a few employees whose loyalty could be questioned. Here is a quick preview of Truman giving his live speech. There are some pleasures in being a former president, and as I say, this, this, time, this situation is certainly one of them. But there are also some burdens. And one of the greatest of these, I can tell you, is knowing from experience what this country should be doing and then seeing that it is not done year after year. Having been president, I'm reluctant to criticize the occupant of that office. In fact, I try to support him whenever my conscience will let me. And I've, <laughs> I've got a touchy Baptist conscience. <laughs> I know what his troubles are, and I know that the occupant of the White House cannot make everything come out right 100% of the time. And I know very well that what he does or does not do may depend upon the information not available to the... So I try to be not too critical of what happens from day to day. Although I'm trying now to instruct the country what they have had and what they brought on themselves when they voted for a halo. <laughs> I had the satisfaction of telling the farmers out in Omaha the other day just exactly what they got and that they deserved it because they brought it on themselves. And of course, I cannot help being aware of the general trend of events. I cannot help but see the condition of this country and the world. And what I see stirs me up, and I just can't keep quiet. The loyalty program is being criticized as a weapon of hysteria attack law-abiding citizens. While being criticized, it is also said that many Americans are agreeing with him and applauding his stand against communism and subversion. There are rumors that Truman's fears the program could become a witch v. Hunt. He's defending it as necessary to preserve America's security during this great tension. Well, that's all for today, but I'll see you next time on HNC News.